Good morning or good afternoon. It's Mary Kay with MK Kay's Artful Journey. So I've been, you know, I have these gorgeous pages, you know, I mean, this is beautiful. It's just, it's a calendar thing, but it, it has a gorgeous butterfly on it and it says butterflies on it. But I got the sticky thing on there. Oh, no. Well, I'm just going to have to cut around it. That's okay. We'll just we'll just improvise. And just... I want to keep butterflies on there. So maybe we'll just cut this way. And cut this off. Because we don't really need calendars on there. But, um... And we don't really need the year on there. So we're just going to cut that off as well. So, but what I was thinking of is, um, when you have journals, you have, like, I'll show you. I have to show you a journal. Um, let me see. Okay. So here's a journal here. So... Say you want to write on a page and you go to write and it's like bulky underneath, right? It's like, okay, so this is a good example. So underneath you've got this and then it's there's a few other pages and it just kind of makes it bulky. So I've seen this, other people do this too. They get like a board and they put it underneath and then they're able to write and not worry about, you know, um, extra things. So, of course, you know, that has a sticker on the back of it. So, you, definitely, you would have something there. But you could also draw around that sticker and, and make it a part of the page. So, um, but a board like this behind it gives it a little more stability. So... In saying that, um, I wanted to make a few of those boards. So I have, see this page, this one just, it just relaxes me, this does. So um, what I'm going to do, I know lately I've been saying a lot, um, a lot, and I apologize. I should breathe. Just breathe. And I got a lot of stuff on my desk. So that, you know, takes away from what we're watching. I just want to make sure that we're in frame. I'm going to put this here so I know where to do everything at. And then I'm going to grab this glue because it's easier sometimes for me. And then I need my glue spreader. Just usually right here. I guess I can I have a new one. Let me just look over here real quick and see if I can locate it. Oh, there's that other thread I was looking for the other day. Oh, there it is. I'll put this back. I don't want to open that yet. Sometimes when you use these glues, they get extra stuff on them. So I want to just kind of clean that off a little bit. Just use my fingernail because it works. Just kind of scrape it off. There we go. That's good. All right. Dip it in there. Grab out a bunch, just pull it. The nice thing about these two is they lay flat, so you can grab a bunch of glue and glue it down. Oh. 
I know, speed, speed it up. <laughs> right? Speed it up before it dries. All right, make sure it goes all the way to the end. And what you probably could do too is, well, I'm just going to stick it on there. Whatever comes up, we'll just... Ooh. Oh, it is wide enough, I think. It's... Oh, yeah, perfect. So it gets the top and the bottom. If I have to cut off a little bit off of the sides, it's not going to be such of a worry. But just press that in. And what you could do, too... I'm going to close this up so that it... It's up there. There's a piece of glue right there. Makes it hard to shut it when there's glue there. Sorry. I know I shouldn't say sorry. Whatever. It's what happens when you're trying to do stuff, right? So, what you could do is take like a old credit card or, you know, you get, you get a ton of cards in the, in the mail. Like this. Not this one, but, you know, I'm, I got this one as a prize. But don't do it too hard because you don't want to do that. <laughs> Good thing that's black there because then I can just go back with a black marker and you know that's black right there go in with a black marker and touch it up a little bit see how you did there too you just touch it up a little bit and you're good to go and then turn it over and cut your edges off. And I think I'm going to use, if I use the longer scissors, then it, you know, cuts longer and then you don't have like hideaways or tuckaways or whatever. There we go. I'll shut this one off. And I can look and see. See, and it still looks good. So then after you do that, because it it would make it easy to for the um you know for it to get damaged when you're in your, when it's in your journal, just get some clear um shelf tape or shelf sheet oh see and I have to check that too so but um and cut yourself out a little a uh, piece and I cut I'm gonna probably do it this way because I'll cut it all the way down and I'll wrap it so that cut it all the way down and before I finish that part, I want to make sure that all of this is glued down. So I am going to go back to the handy dandy white glue here. No, actually, I'm going to go with this. Generally, I like I don't like to use washable because it comes up, but I'm going to be covering it. So I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, after time, the washable glue unsticks itself. That's why I don't like to use it. And I know this from experience. <laughs> I've been around a long time. and Projects I've forgotten that people have used glue sticks to glue have fallen apart. <laughs> so just, just for your reference on there. And so that's why you should make sure that your glue is a permanent glue and not washable and acid free. And you can get those. I mean, you can get them acid-free and permanent. Um, 
but uh, I'm just gonna put it on here. Glue it close, whatever. And um, anyways, because I do have some glues that I use that are sorry doing a little cleanup you know it's funny because I cleaned all of this up last week but I did go to the Dollar Tree and got some things and, and I found my my um, toilet paper roll stamp See, I got these so I could make some more of those tassels um, boldly boldly I wonder where that came from Anyways, I'm just going to clean this out from underneath me. People. People. And I have a little bag down here. I put all my scraps in. There we go. Now we'll go back to this. And we are we're gonna fit this on here, and we're gonna fold it. Oh, there's glue on there. I'm gonna fold it like this. We want to make sure. that it's going to fit, so. That's good. Oh yeah, plenty. So then we're just going to cut this here. Or, you know, if you have a laminator, you can use it, a la you can laminate your stuff that way. Then find the pillow away. This is the hardest part. <laughs> Maybe I should get some tape. <laughs> I see it. I see it. I can just get my finger now under the there. Well, maybe I should try the edge this way. Oh, look. I thought that would work. I wish they had like a, I don't know, a lip. Maybe I cut the lip off. To make it a little easier. Come on. Got it, I think. Talking to myself and feeling all I got it. There it is, right there. Come on. <laughs> Tweezers. What do people use? Um, maybe this. Sometimes people use this. See, I got it. There. Put this back in here. hate it when it's rolling, you know, because then it kind of jumbles up a little bit. There we go. So we're going to pull it out so far. And I made it wide enough to where I had a little bit of extra room, so 
just going to lay it on there as straight as I can. Okay. Okay. I'm going to get the bubbles out as much as possible. Well, what am I going to do? How did I do this before? Uh oh. Look at that. Oh, my arm. Oh, of course. Murphy, go home. Where'd my little tool go? It ran away. Well, that's going to be on the back anyways. I probably should have put a picture on the back because this is back there. Whew. What can I put on there? <laughs> I know I got some paper. Some pretty paper. Some pretty paper. Oh, here we go. Let me put this on the back. So, go right there. Back here. That. I should have planned the back, huh? There we go. And. We're going to cut a little bit off of the top. Like that. That looks good. Alright. And we're just going to use glue stick. Because we're going to put the stuff over it anyways. That means i got to peel that off. Oh my goodness. That's what you get when you do stuff on the fly, right? You have an idea and you want to throw it out to everybody and then you mess up by messing it up. <laughs> you mess it up by messing it up. So. Oh, it came off. That's good. Look, I got little little things attaching themselves. Looks like a swan, doesn't it? Oh my word. Come on, get off of it. There we go. That's better. Oh, there's one little piece. There. Now we can lay this on here. Oh, I better check and see what the upside is. Oh, good, good. Because we want it to be pretty much the same. Good thing it's wax paper. Yay. All right. There we go. Now we're going to pull that down like this. Because once you lay it down, you can't really pick it up. So that's why I have to shimmy out the... the uh, air bubbles. See, and these air bubbles are underneath, I think.
The other thing is, is what I did, I think, is I kind of cut a hole. Like a little hole in the thing so the air could escape. Oh well. Because I don't think this will come up very well. Yeah, no. It's after sealing it there. <laughs> so I'm thinking we just poke a hole right there. There we go. Well, that did it pretty good. Maybe just move them this way. Well, just make sure that next time <laughs> you do it right. Oh my goodness. See that arrow bubble is underneath. And this, I don't know what that is. So I think as, like I said, when I crinkled the paper, It was just a pain. So, then we're just going to cut off the rest. But you can kind of see what I mean, how to make these little boards. And I just run my finger on the edge. Cutters cutting. Sometimes I cut straight and sometimes I don't. So that one's like that, but this one turned out really good. <laughs> so there's, so what I do then is I just put a little note, like I have these little, um, what I do with them. Um, all these little labels and I just put a label on here that's how you open it from the back and I just take one of these labels do 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 like that And stick it in a, I'll probably do it on the back. I'll just stick it up here. Okay, so. So, I, I forget what I said before. I think I said something, because I did one of these before. Um, uh, to assist
with writing. And I'll probably get the idea. You know, once they get it in their book, they'll see it in there and they'll be like, oh, okay, I understand, you know. So, I'm just really, I messed that one up really bad. <laughs> see, and look, and this one's not even sticking down. See, that was the other glue. So, let's do this. Put it up here. Trial and error, right? That's how you do art. Trial and error. Well, good. I can use this into my um my floral thing. So there. Now I have that, and I'm gonna. I am gonna stick it in this book here. I think I probably have a pocket somewhere. So let's see here. It's not a pocket. Or you could even clip it to it, you know. Um, doo -doo -doo. Oh, that's so cute. Let's find it. Oh, won't fit. So we'll just find a page to clip it to. <gasps> Isn't that beautiful? love my work <laughs> one of these days I'll share it <laughs> I actually do share it you know so I'll just clip it to this and we'll just use one of these paper clips we'll clip it, clip it from the top there now there's a writing board in that book and there's a little thing here yeah. So, anyways, so then I can do a couple more. So this one I can do the front and the back. So this one, isn't this cool? I love this one. And we'll just cut the, I think that's like lights, you know. Yeah. Let me see if I have another board. Board, 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 board. I just get my boards from the backs of, um, you can use cereal box boards, but, um, I just get them from the back of, um, you know, writing paper pads. Writing paper pads. And so we don't get the bubbles in this one. I'm going to, I'm going to try this glue. You just kind of have to experiment. And just kind of spread that. I make sure it gets all the way to the edges. in the corners and I'm going to close this and wipe it off and then get one of those credit cards again this one see this is the one that I I can get with the cash loan and you just do this That way it kind of gets all the, so the bubbles don't, you know, come as much. And then turn this over. And I pick the lower spot, pick the lower spot here to put it on. And then use the back side of this to push the bubbles out. Remember, you don't want to press too hard because you don't want 
um, you don't want to rip the paper. So we're just going to cut here. Cut this way. See how that's kind of crooked. And then I'm just going to turn the edge off. There. Yeah, that's pretty straight. I have a good eye for straightness. There we go. Then I was just going to put this on here. Butterfly. I could add another butterfly. Oh, let's see here. I'm just thinking I add more butterflies. Or maybe I could just add a piece of um, sorry I almost lost my iPad off the table <laughs> darn it oh I can use these butterflies I'll just glue them on I'll just um, I better glue them on so let me glue that guy on first and then we'll go from there Ooh, that's a pretty one, too. I probably have more of those butterflies in here. Oh, you know what? Let's not do that one. Let's do this. You could just glue a piece of this tissue paper I got onto here. Okay, so we'll pick a a panel and cut it off. Get some of that. Get some of this decoupage stuff. You should open up that. Open this up. In case I got so much. I think I'll wipe it off on there. Something dropped on the floor. I don't know what it was. Now I'm going to put this back up over here, let it dry, and I'm going to take one of those credit cards, because it's, it's flat all the way across, so that way I can... Oh, I got it on my pad there. And I'll 
dry on there and come off. Okay. So. And I lift and pull and make sure that you don't have any wrinkles in there. Almost should have ironed the oh, oh look at that. I was lucky. There we go. That's good. Yay! Glad that worked. Mm. Little that dried over there. Where's my thing? There. Everything's glued down. Yay! It's gonna fall off. All right, see it even glued down to this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that's... All right, we're gonna stick a little of this glue on here. Now we'll cut around the edges. Still coming up on the corners. But you know what? We're going to put the laminated on it. So. Or you could have used that on something. Oh gosh, you guys, I have so much. So much. See, look, that's coming up on the edge. Sometimes decoupage doesn't work very well. You have to, I think you have to do both sides. That's why I don't want to do both sides. more. I think I got them all down now. Oh, my hands are all sticky. And I don't know where the baby wipes are. So, next thing we need is this. And you, we, you saw how to do this. So, basically, you know, I think this time no, I think I'm going to do it this way. Because it's, it's, it'll be easier on the thing. So I'm just going to cut this far over. And then this.
because with it rolling, it, it makes it a little easier. So. Then the hard part is peeling it. <laughs> Here it is. Let's see, if they, let's see if it works faster if I do it the first time. I see a little bubble there. Look. That did work faster the, the, the first this time. Let's see, and the less wrinkles. There's that. Oh well. We're just going to lay this down. And you know what? I'm going to lay this down first. And then... That one looked worked out a lot better. See, not not so many bubbles. Not so many bubbles. That was more bubbles in the see. Uh oh. Oh, that was on the inside. <laughs> Oh, see? And even this side didn't get as many bubbles. It just got that line through there. So, not bad. Not bad. So, that's the way you can make your um, your boards for writing in your journals. Anyways, I'm going to leave it at this. And I'll cut this off afterwards because you already saw me do that before. And everybody, have a blessed day. Thank you for stopping by MK's K's Artful Journey. And join my Facebook page if you like what you see and subscribe, like, and whatever, you know, if you like it. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.